All right, we're gonna go in the other room and go into haircut day here in a second. But before we do that, I wanted to share something that's been incredibly valuable to me, okay? If you want to cultivate your creativity, if you want your mind to explode with ideas, if you want to come to that solution that's been uh, completely evading you, you're not certain what direction to go in or what you should have said in that regard or any of it. If you're looking for an idea and you need your mind to bring that idea to the forefront, you need to carve out time for yourself. You need to unplug. Some people consider this a technology detox. Some people call it a dopamine fast. Other people call it taking a long walk by yourself. And all of that is a fair title, but it's what you've got to do. You've got to make a little bit of time to just unplug from everything and let those creative juices flow. Like let your brain play with whatever it is and you will reach that conclusion that you're looking for. You will create some, some creative idea will come to you. It's only a matter of time. And if you're struggling with that, first the carving out time, well, to fix that, you've, you've got to set a time budget of sorts. Basically make a routine, make a schedule. You say this day, I'm going to be doing this thing at this time. I have carved out this many minutes for this thing to happen. Great. And second, while you're in that free time playland, whatever it is, the, the complete unplugging of all input, and it's just you in that moment, while you're there, you may run into a frustration that no ideas are coming to you. No solutions. The answer isn't finding you. You're not, I still have no idea how that conversation should have went. I, I still don't know what to do for the big project. I haven't had an original thought in years. These are all very valid thoughts. And these are things that your brain is working through while you're spending that time alone and unplugged. And sometimes you're gonna need a little bit of extra coaxing for those ideas to come out, for that, that creative energy to flourish within you. So what I like to do, what's helpful for me, is exercise. So I mean, you back up a little bit. What's helpful for me <laughs> is making sure you're well rested over X amount of time, right? Like, you can't be overly tired because you're just gonna be thinking about how you wanna go to bed, okay? And, and not to some extreme, you don't need nine hours of sleep every night, but if it's a night that your toddler kept waking up and you didn't get to bed until real late and you, you're walking around with like one bloodshot eye, it's probably not creativity day, 2024, no. It's, it's self-help day. <laughs> so make sure you're, you're starting this creative journey on a day where you're kind of blank slate, energized enough, got enough rest, okay? And then getting back to my exercise point, you, what helps me is either long or intense cardio and not listening to anything. If you have to listen to music while you're running, that's fine, that's fine. But don't pull up a podcast. Don't pull up any videos on YouTube, nothing like that. Get your run in, get your cycling done, go swimming, something. Just get your heart rate up. And if it's a, a longer duration run, maybe a little less intense, that's great. That's really good for your body. And it's gonna help that blood flow process really help your body churn through any negativity that's built up, both emotional and physical, right? If you don't have time for a longer run, do something short. Set a timer for two minutes and do jumping jacks, okay? Go do sprints, get on a trampoline. You know those little trampolines? We've got one in the garage, the kids love it. It's a, it's a great way to get a quick burst of cardio in. And you can make it more or less intense, however you want, but Basically, get your blood flow going, uh, get your heart rate up, and after that cardio session, take out the earbuds, if you were listening to music, and walk in silence with yourself, okay? You can skip the cardio part if you know that the walk is going to be this creative generation time for you. That's fine. If, if you can get into that headspace without the cardio first, awesome. Do it. But for me, it helps me kind of kind of reset, 
It's like an emotional reset for the day, a physical reset for whatever problems I've got going on. I kind of just, it's like it deals with the stress of whatever is, is going on and puts it in its proper place. I've, I've ran away from my problems <laughs> and it was awesome. Uh, and then afterwards, you're on this slow walk with yourself. You can walk quickly. It doesn't matter the pace. It's just a walk. And there's no input. You're not listening to anything. Please make sure that you're watching for traffic. Don't cross the road without looking both ways. And what helps me sometimes is to be in a less populated area because talking out loud can actually be pretty helpful. You can, you can make a certain kind of progress by talking out loud to yourself. And it's, it's a similar effect to when you have a friend who will just listen to you rant about something. For me, it's my wife. And my wife will sit there and listen. Well, I will talk about the same thing I've talked about a dozen, dozen, dozen times. And it just kind of helps me churn through it, to understand it, to make the pieces fit together better. Okay? So if you have to talk out loud to yourself on this walk, do it. Work through it with yourself. And then... It's like the, the answer comes to you. It's like the creativity flourishes up from, from your neck, apparently. But, <laughs> and it's not necessarily a process to solve all your life problems. It's a process to, to clear the cache of your brain. <laughs> because there's some kind of roadblock in your head that's keeping you from being creative. That's keeping you from, from just... Yeah, putting paint on the canvas. And so, yeah, for me, I, I get out there, I get my heart rate up, and then I go on a walk, and I just ramble. And maybe I'm the crazy guy walking through the suburbs, and they're like, that guy talks to himself all the time. You don't, yeah, maybe, maybe. I don't always talk to myself. Sometimes it's all internal. But whatever your process is, you got to do that thing and get to that relaxed, untethered, uninhibited, and uninspired place. Uninspired meaning you're not listening to something. You're not under the influence of, of some input, be it a podcast or music or, or even a partner talking to you. Uh, and so going, going on that walk by yourself and unplugging from everything, it just lets your brain, you could call it your your unconscious mind, your subconscious. I have no idea. I don't have a degree in psychology. Maybe it's those things. Sure. But it's like some part of you that's just been busy staring at computer screens, listening to podcasts, dealing with people, dealing with your responsibilities, sitting all day, not getting any movement in. All that goes out the window and your brain goes, hey, I can play. I can play with these things. It's just playtime for your creative mind. And you will, you will find ideas coming to you. You will find ideas flooding in. Sometimes it's helpful to have a pen and, and a notepad with you during these times. And some little note, it'll seem very inspiring at the time. And you will forget it. You will forget it. Please write it down, whatever the thing is. Uh, I mean, it's 50-50 when you look at it next week. Because sometimes you look at a note and you're like, that's the dumbest thing I've ever read. And other times you, you read the note and you go, that's still a really good idea. I still really like whatever that creative thing was. And you've given yourself the gift of creativity. Not just in the abstract, but in the form of a creative idea. You've given your brain a toy to play with. Your mind now has a toy. <laughs> just in the form of this idea whatever the thing was because you removed the the debris that was in your mind's way keeping it from exploring greener pastures <laughs> right so that's what i would recommend if if you feel creatively stuck if you feel like your inner monologue is just gagged good luck get out there get that heart rate up spend some time with yourself alone in the quiet and go for a walk and look both ways for traffic you're gonna be just fine <laughs> tell me about all the creative ideas you came up with tell me if you have a different process what do you use to just 
get the creative juices flowing to remove those roadblocks. I'm really curious because there's there's some days that cardio and long walks don't do it. Your mileage may vary. <laughs> Have a great day. Good luck.